The developers behind the new release of Launcher has sparked renewed interest in the custom launcher community earlier this year when the application made a comeback. This week, the team has pushed out a brand new alpha build of what is being called Lawn Chair 12, and it includes support for many of Android's newest features. With the new release of Lawn Chair 12, not only is there an entirely new team behind it, but they've also based the update on Launcher 3 from Android 12. This means we have an updated code base of the launcher that brings improved animations, improved performance, minimizes the bugs, and allows for some of those Android 12 features to make their way to older versions of Android. Since Lawn Chair 12 currently supports on Android 8 all the way up through Android 12. If you're familiar with the older version of Lawn Chair, then the biggest changes here is going to be the new look and style of the launcher. You can see a lot of the user interface elements are now based on Android 12. This includes the app drawer the pop-up boxes that appear, folders, and many other user interface elements now look like they do on Android 12. Now another new feature that was adopted into Lawn Chair 12 is the Material U theming system. So Lawn Chair cannot theme your entire operating system, but it can theme the home screen itself, which is what a lot of people use and interact with on a daily basis. So Lawn Chair 12 has the ability to extract the dominant color from your wallpaper and use it as the launcher's user interface style. You can see that in the home settings here. We have the accent color feature, which is currently being pulled from the wallpaper. We can also pull it from the system, or we can choose specific accent colors. So if we wanted blue, we can set that and change it to blue. If we wanted more green, we can change that and change it to green. This update also allows us to change the label of an application or simply hide it entirely by long pressing on the application icon. You can tap the little pencil icon here. We can change the label if we want, and we can hide it from the app drawer as well. Now, if you like to search the app drawer for your icon, for the apps that you want to open up, when you search, it will filter out the applications that do not meet that search requirement. But in Lawn Chair 12, while you're typing, we can press the enter button right here and it will automatically open up the first highlighted application from that search. So you don't have to type in the entire application name. You can simply refine the results so that the first application is what you want to open and then tap enter to open it. Not everyone enjoys the search bar at the top of the application drawer. So the latest version of Launch Share also includes a way to hide that search bar, which we can find in the home screen settings, app drawer, and then show search bar. You can simply disable that right there. The new alpha build of Lawn Chair 12 also includes an experimental font feature, which we can access by going into the home settings, tapping on general, and you can see the font option right here. As of right now, it's labeled as experimental. And we can go in here and change the icons, which affect the font in the home screen of Launcher as well. 
the last feature that I want to mention for Lawn Chair 12 is the support for Quick Switch on Android 11 and Android 12. For those who are not aware, Quick Switch is a Majisk module that enables the Android Pie recent apps support on third-party launchers. So if you are running Android 11 or Android 12, this new updated version of Launcher does support Quick Switch. And that about wraps up a summary of the newest, biggest changes happening in version 12 of Launcher. I'm going to be including a download link for the latest alpha build of the Launcher in the video description below. Please remember though, this is an alpha build of the update, so there are some bugs to be expected. The team did just push out alpha build number two, which fixed a handful of bugs that were reported very early. I expect this to continue as the development team works on improving the code base and ironing out these bugs.